Good Monday morning. It's Billy Joe with Little House on the Hill. And well, you know what time it is. It's Monday, so time for our morning drive. Come on, let's go. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Seatbelt, gotta be safe. Even though I'm driving and talking to you guys this morning. It is Monday, October the 17th. And fall, y'all, it is here. It is 100% here. I did a video earlier, um, well, last week, actually, um, about the leaves that are changing here. And it's even more so today. We are expecting a frost here in East Alabama. Well, Northeast Alabama. Northeast Alabama. Um, tomorrow morning, um, Tuesday and Wednesday. So what little bit of vegetables we have left in the garden, they are coming out today. Um, green beans, my husband is supposed to have built a cold frame for them three days in a row. We still haven't got that done. I told him it has to be done today. And, of course, I have to work again tonight, so I will have to cover it at um, 10 o'clock tonight. Um, but i got to get them covered because I don't want to lose my green beans. We actually have green beans. They're little, but we got green beans, guys. We have green beans. Um, can't afford to lose them because, you know, we lost the last crop. Um, so we've got to keep this little bit of crop going. Maybe we can get enough to get a couple of um, quarts out of it. Um, it has been a very, very long week. Um, and long weekend, um, did not get anything accomplished. And sometimes that's how it works. Um, I got one whole duck, <laughs> one Saturday evening, um, for the feed room edition. Um, yeah, that's about it. No rabbits processed this week like I had planned. Um, firewood is not got moved. Um, we've got to do, I've got to do that tonight, uh, when I get home from work, both jobs. Um, yeah, it's, winter's here on us, not just fall, but it feels like winter is here. And, um, I feel like I'm just dragging, um, trying to get it all done and get it done in time. Um, uh, I really, I'm just, I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, I worked all last week at my regular job, at, uh, my full-time job. I've worked my part-time job. I've worked um, 
uh, pageant services on Saturday. And then, um, you know, we have, with the Victory Garden, it's very small. So we only had um, six, seven tomato plants counting our one Juliet. So we had six, um, oh no, I take that back. We had, we had the, um, the heirlooms too. So I think we had maybe, let's see, probably nine or ten tomato plants actually um i forgot about this two or three heirlooms over there on the week on the that were added in at the end um we didn't expect them to survive and they did and actually produced a good bit um nonetheless um we got tomatoes we were able to do a batch of pasta sauce we were able to do have plenty of fresh tomatoes throughout the summer um we did some tomato topping for bruschetta um we canned a few tomatoes and I still have some in the freezer to do another batch of either pasta sauce or ketchup. It's probably going to be ketchup, honestly. Paisley wants to try ketchup. Um, so we don't eat a whole lot of pasta sauce. Anyway, we did not have a lot of tomatoes. I never got around to doing any, um, chow chow, which if you're anybody from the South or know anyone in the South, you know, we love our chow chow. It's a cabbage and onions, pepper mix, um, with green tomatoes all chopped up. It is amazing. Um, I never got around to doing ours or doing any for our home this year. Oh, why are these people doing this? Guys, pet peeve. If you're on a two-lane highway and there's no one beside you and you see a vehicle trying to come out into traffic, then don't ride in the left lane. Get over. <laughs> anyway, so we didn't get it. Back to square one. We were, did not get any chow chow done. So yesterday morning, Paisley and I got up super early and we drove to Chandler Mountain. Um, it's a couple, of, a little over an hour drive for us to go up the mountain to that. Um, they have a lot of tomato farms up there. Of course, they're like I am trying to get everything out of the fields. It's going to ruin if they don't get it out. Um, so they um, they have a you pick farm. They have, you can buy them, purchase them already picked, or you can you pick them yourselves. And I went up and um, Paisley and I picked 15 gallons, yes, 15 gallons of tomatoes. Three five-gallon buckets, um, two of red and one of green. Um, so we had green tomatoes, um, I like fried green tomatoes. Um, but we picked those um, so that we could do some ch a batch of chow chow. And we also um, needed to do some like diced tomatoes um, on the shelf. So when I got home yesterday at 10 o'clock, I started on one five gallon bucket, got through the entire bucket. Um, it gave me 12 quarts of diced tomatoes. It's kind of aggravating. I don't know if anyone's ever canned tomatoes or not. I cold pack them super, super tight in the jars. Um, I always add a tad of lemon juice and salt in mine. Um, and then I will um, fill them with hot water to finish um, to get it to the correct uh, headspace. Um, I did all that in my tomatoes all rose and made like a mountain in my jar <laughs> and then the juice kind of lowered. It's, it's so aggravating. I, I don't know what I could do differently um, for that, but that's how it goes. So anyway, um, we got 12 quarts of tomatoes and um, I also processed, oh, I did do some um, light red kidney beans. Um, over the week, during the week as well. Very, very annoyed. Um, I think they were golden harvest jars and I'm not even sure why I had those still because I just about quit buying that brand. Uh, but it had those lids on it. I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. I'll process them out of six quart jars. Three sealed, three did not. So now I have to go and empty three jars, reheat everything and reprocess them. Quart jars take 90 minutes to process so I'm a little aggravated with that but it is what it is I may actually go back and put them in pint jars just because um, I've got some lima beans that I want to do at the same time so um, I will probably do those Tuesday and Wednesday because it, it the, the way I do them is I cook them I, I sort them through and do a um, bring them to a boil shut them off and then they set I think they go off like 10 minutes and then they set for at least 30. Um, I usually let them sit up overnight in the fridge and I get them out and I cook them for 30 minutes then I put them in my jars. Um, so they're they're a little bit softer that's how I do my kidney beat um, my pintos 
Um, that's probably going to have how I'm going to do my lima beans as well. My kidney beans, I wanted them a little bit firmer because I put those in chili. Um, so I did get those done. So I'm down to, anyway, back to, my, back to the tomatoes. I am down to one five-gallon bucket of red and one of green. So the one of red we will take and um, we're going to juice most of them. They're big tomatoes. They're not really canning tomatoes, which is probably why we're getting a lot of liquid in the jars in the end. Um, but we will take and um, juice those. And then what's left, we will we'll, um, make into sauce or paste. Um, I save all my skins and cook those down as well to make a paste. Um, and I may try to, to do a ferment on some of them. Um, Stacy with um, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, she does a ferment. I don't think it's a salsa that she does with her tomatoes. I have a lot, so I may just try it just to see how it turns out. Um, like I said, with the frost coming in, we've got to get everything covered and get ready for all the cold air coming in. We still need to get firewood. Of course, that's everybody. Anyone that knows, anyone that um, that burns wood. Um, hello. That dude just charmed in front of everybody. <laughs> um, anyone that burns wood knows that you, you um, it takes a lot of wood to get through winter. And I'm really expecting this winter to be super, super, super cold. So we're trying to get all of that ready. Um, you know, my thing, I like to prepare for a season. Um, once we get all of my next step is preparing for um, the winter season. Um, like I so said, we have the green beans in. We do not have any cold weather plants planted. Um, we did not get any fall type stuff done. Um, so we're, we do have broccoli in the garden um, in containers. Um, once we get the peppers and the tomatoes and I see that they are completely finished, we will pull those up and I'm gonna try to get some cabbage in the ground. Hopefully um, we can make it work, even if I have to cold frame it in, if it starts getting a little cold on it. Um, we do like fresh cabbage. I can't eat it a whole lot, but I do like it. Um, so we will get that started and um, yeah, that's how things are going at Little House on the Hill. So how's it going at your house? <laughs> um, be sure you like, subscribe, and um, comment below. Let's keep us going. Guys, we're, we're a small channel, and I know I don't, I can't get the content out that I really want to get out, which is really I want to share what I do. I want to share videos of what I do instead of just talking about what I do. Um, unfortunately, I mean, like yesterday when I did tomatoes, it was a rushed process for me to get six quarts done before I went to work. And then I worked five hours, oh, actually six hours, um, at tractor. And then I came home and I canned more tomatoes. Um, I have a very small um, country farm kitchen. It's not a big fancy kitchen like you see on TV. So it really, it bothers me to show you my kitchen. Um, it's nothing wrong with my kitchen. I just, you know, it's not a fancy kitchen. <laughs> So, um, anyway, hopefully we'll get, I'll get better at that and I can learn to over, I can learn to overcome that because that's part of the problem is me overcoming the fact that it bothers me. Um, tomatoes yesterday, guys, at the end of this video, at the end of this clip, I'm going to show you our, no. So anyway, Guys, it, I am halfway to work, and I just found out my boss is not going to be there today, so I've got to get everything together this morning on my own. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun day and a fun, fun week. So, everyone, I hope you have a blessed day. And as always, like I say, look up for brighter and more beautiful days because they will get here, guys. I know they will. So I hope, like I said, I hope you have a great day and a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye.